Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can nest a query within another query to create a subquery. A subquery is simply a query that is placed within another query. Subqueries can be nested inside of many types of DML statements, such as the standard select statement, a select into statement, an insert into statement, an update statement, and the delete statement. You can also nest subqueries within other subqueries. However, there is often a limitation on the number of nested subqueries allowed by RDBMS. Also, you should exercise caution when using subqueries to ensure that their use does not degrade the performance of the query within which they are embedded. A poorly designed subquery can negatively impact the performance of a query. You will need to check with your RDBMS documentation to see what limits are placed on the use of subqueries within a select statement. Most systems will allow the use of a subquery in any part of a DML statement where you can use an expression. So, for example, you can use a subquery to create a type of calculated field by placing it into the select field list within the primary select statement. Alternately, they are found within the WHERE clause, determining which records are selected within the primary query. Subqueries are placed within parentheses inside of the main select statement. The core SQL of a subquery is shown below. The primary query parameter simply notes where the primary select statement or other DML statement is located. Note that the table name parameter is the name of the table from which you want to select the records, the field name parameter is the name of a field, and criteria is a criteria expression used for selection. Elements shown within brackets indicate that a choice must be made, and the choices are shown separated by the pipe symbol. Elements shown within braces are simply optional extensions of the select clause that can be incorporated if needed. Note that a subquery does allow for most clauses that can be incorporated within a primary select statement. So the core SQL of a subquery is your primary query. Then within parentheses, select either all or a listing of field names from a table name, possibly using the WHERE clause, possibly using the GROUP BY clause, possibly using the HAVING clause, possibly using the ORDER clause, and then the END parenthesis, followed by the remainder of the primary query. Let's take a moment and look at a subquery within Access 2013. So here we have a subquery example which says select sale ID and then the subquery select item name from items where sales details item ID equals items item ID. So that'll just show a column of the item name instead of the item ID. Then quantity price and the sale date from sales enter join on sales details on sale ID equals sale ID between sales and sales details where the sale date is between 1-1-2007 and 1-15-2007. So if we look at this query, we can see the expression shown with the actual item name instead of the item ID. Now below is a listing of hyperlinks that shows the abilities and limitations of using subqueries within MySQL 5.7, SQL Server 2012, and Access 2013. You can also find related links within these pages that also provide examples and related subquery information for each RDBMS. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.